Hello friends, this is Dr. Amarjit Kaur. I am Professor of Accounting and Communication at Gurugram University in the Department of Management. I am very happy to be present this day here to discuss about haptic communication. It is a very interesting topic, very unique topic. You will not find much of the material on this topic in the books or even on internet. So, I am happy that we are a trying to cover almost every aspect of non-verbal communication. So, as we all know, non-verbal communication is the communication where words, you know, other than the words, we communicate with the help of either body language, expressions, head movement, hand movement, uh, touch, you know, space, all those things. So, in this process, we have discussed about body language in the past, then kinesic communication. Today, few minutes ago, we discussed about proxemic communication, which is study of space. And today, now at this moment, we are going to talk about haptic communication, which is also a branch of non-verbal communication, right? So, stay with me for the next few minutes to understand what haptic communication is. Friends, haptic communication is a branch, as I said, of non-verbal communication. It refers to the way in which people and animal communicate and interact with the help of or the wise sense of touch. So, we all know that humans have five senses, right? We have been talking about it, we, our literature clearly you know, exhibits that there are five senses any human has. So, out of those five senses we have, touch is the most sophisticated and intimate sense. It is the intimate sense, right? It's, it is the most effective, most emotional sense we have out of the five senses, right? So, touch is something I am going to discuss in this haptic communication. So, this term haptic communication is basically coined by Ted Nelson in 1975. He was the first person who studied about the you know, importance of touch in communication and how we communicate through touch only. So, that is non-verbal. We are not using any word, but we are communicating. You know, this is something most common in Indian culture. Elderly, you know, patting on the back of, uh, you know, youngsters is most common in Indian culture. Whenever a young girl or boy, I mean, is going out or meeting some elderly person, greeting or, you know, trying to touch his or her feet and then the elderly person giving a shirwat, blessings on, on the, by tapping or on the, on the pat or just by patting is is one good example we all can correlate and that is basically haptic communication. Okay? So, it was first discussed in the context of uh, what will be the future of love, what will be the future of intimacy and technology. Yes, technology. How touch can be used as a therapy to treat many uh, you know, psychological issues that was discussed, studied and still has been studied. And now we have a all together very well developed science in this area. Okay? So, it was discussed initially for, uh, in the context what will be the future of love, what would be the future of intimacy or the technology in this context by Ted Nelson and gradually it developed as a science altogether. So, haptic communication is the study of in, you know, touch in communication, that is what haptic communication is. There are so many examples of haptic communication. The uh, psychologist Vincent Berger, he has actually defined couple of, uh, uh, you know, types by which the touch is basically or, or haptic communication takes place. You just meet somebody and you just shake hands. Right? It could be a known person, your friend, your unknown person, your boss, your peer at a workplace. Right? I generally meet people, I do shake hand. So, the grip of hand decides what kind of message you are giving. 
that which height do we keep our hand you know we keep it straight we keep it at, at the chest uh, you know height or we keep it at the belly height or the waist height or eye height you know forehead height we cannot shake hand by bringing our head hand towards our head right most of the you know best positions are when we are keeping straight or we are keeping our hand straight and we are shaking hand so even that handshake defines the kind, so without saying anything there there is a communication happening with that handshake it was a firm hand it was a friendly handshake it was unfriendly handshake you you can now correlate what i'm trying to discuss okay but this is haptic communication example of haptic communication holding hand you know you just are holding hand with of your friend who is in, in trouble who is who has lost some someone right it's okay calm down somebody is angry you are trying to just calm down like this yeah so even that is communication without saying that calm down you are just holding hand assuring the person i am by your side don't worry you know a child is upset is anxious about something is worried about something mother holding hand a father is scolding a child and mother is just holding hand not intervening otherwise that is giving a message to child somehow direct, indirectly that my mom is my, by my side right just holding hand this is haptic communication we all know kissing i to kissing to your partner to your husband to your child to your grandma or ma right either on cheek or lips or hand even that is haptic com- haptic communication so kiss also does communicate what kind of kiss you know kiss is kiss, kisses are of different types with different emotions so they without saying anything they do communicate the state of mind a person is or some messages your child is very upset crying mom mom comes to the child doesn't say anything just holds her hand and kisses her that's it right without saying anything this is haptic communication back slap as i said peet thap thapana slap you know it could be patting or just slapping both have different meanings of course the different messages we are communicating you know even that does communicate without saying so we are touching somebody's back we are just slapping or we are just patting it does communicate something we know what it means so this is again haptic communication high five friends meeting other friends and just giving high five they are celebrating whatever you know uh, could be okay and they are just excited they are uh, they are meeting after some time excited about this even so this is high five also does communicate something between the people shoulder pat as i said patting is there on the shoulder on the back is communicating very well the message the meaning of uh, uh, one person to another brushing arms is also an example of haptic communication so you may not have paid attention to these things which we are doing on daily basis each, each one of us is doing many of these examples or or all of them okay so then what is the importance of haptic communication so uh, friends as i said touch is the most important sense a person has and any human has okay so if the communication is based on touch or if touch is brought in in the communication process the communication becomes far more effective and important to the other okay to the to the receiver so the first thing study shows that haptic or touch is essential to early childhood development and several studies have also shown that people can communicate emotions solely through touch this is the importance of haptic communication or you may also call it as touch communication without saying anything you know and especially in the early stage when a child is growing really the touch does matter if you there was some some movie i am forgetting the name probably this was 3 idiots that jhappi the pyar ki jhappi you know 
some some movie i'm i'm not sure about i'm not a movie uh, so, no i'm not so much into movies but there was a jappy concept that is also haptic communication friends right all is well all is good so you know if somebody is touching you and saying all is well all is good that is haptic communication touch communication you are communicating a strong message so the first importance of you know important point regarding haptic is this that it really makes a difference in the life of a child so childhood development does uh, you know uh, uh, you know is is uh, dependent is dependent on haptic communication a child who has been given lot of hugs kisses hand holding in uh, in the early years he or she would be more confident uh, you know about things uh, would be less anxious than the people who are not been given that touch therapy that haptic communication whose parents ignored the haptic communication right and there are families where even a young adult still feel uh, the importance of haptic communication they they have the culture of hugging touching you know fiddling uh, even even they are adults it does matter those child those kids are more uh, confident uh, more secured in emotions they have better you know better emotional state than the other child children okay haptic communication or touch is fundamental to connection and social communication so if we want to connect to other the most effective way is you communicate with the help of touch you know i'm not proposing that you start touching females at your workplace just for the sake of it no please do not misinterpret it right wherever it is socially correct it is culturally correct and especially in personal relationship it becomes more important right at social at work culture we have to or we should be maintaining work culture ethics or 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 we should be living the culture of that society where we are working okay so it is fundamental to connection and social communication the another point is that touch gives us a sense of presence the moment uh, you know if you have ever observed in indian society whenever one person loses his uh, you know uh, loved one we go we may not cry you know we may not have tears in our eyes we go and we touch the person you know generally from the back or hand it gives a sense of presence just that touch that hug is assuring that hey i am here for you right be it uh, you know any relationship even a boss for times you know if we forget the gender point or age here a boss tap patting on the back of a young boy or a girl uh, about you know about the achievement he or she has made it gives the sense of presence that i that he is present and he is acknowledging it really gives a very strong sense of presence that i am present not in physical uh, state only but mentally i am with you emotionally i am with you that is the message going through the haptics okay haptic is essential to emotional connection and well being to establish emotional connection with the loved ones especially or with friends with uh, you know people where we we are allowed to touch of course it really strengthens the connection between two people if touch is there in the communication because we are using touch to communicate mind you we are not using touch as a game it is actually communicating there are people who can't speak but still can communicate by just touching right friends what what does slapping you know what does slapping communicate it is also slapping is also an example of haptics if a friend is annoyed with other friend and slaps on his face slaps on his back it is also touch and communicating without saying 
you know, uh, I'm angry, you are showing that you are angry. So this is also, you know, an example of touch or haptics. We didn't discuss in other examples here. So sense of touch is astonishingly acute, 0.0001 millimeter. It's interesting. Okay. Another important point of haptic communication is sensory experience helps us explore the world. So because of this haptic communication, the study which were carried by Ted Nelson and other people late gradually, you know, a science is developing. The sensory, the sensor, you know, sensory experience is being developed to explore the world. While sitting at one place, we can sense the world around just by touch, by technology, you know. So that, that technology has come up by because of this haptic communication because this was proven that touch gives you, uh, you know, a, a, an experience, a feeling, a connect. So this has been used in many ways now. So haptic feedback, you know, haptic communication, haptic feedback. So is it, it makes action possible. It really is, becomes more effective than the verb, than just the words. And many a times I have already discussed in the past, verbal communication is just the 10%. The rest is all non-verbal, 90%. That's why I am paying so much attention and time on different types, kinesics, exmics, now haptics, body language, everything. Because it actually forms the 90% of the communication we make with others. Words are just the 10%, mind you. Okay? Another important point of haptic communication is haptic technology is developing in a big way. Haptic technology, you know, where, uh, stu uh, you know, people who are suffering with some psychological issues, some depression, uh, some kind of, uh, some kind of problem they have, they, uh, they are using, I mean, psychologists and the doctors and you know, psychiatrists, they are using this technology to treat people. This is coming up as a next very big thing in the treatment of depressed people, anxious people, anxiety treatment, uh, you know, people who are abused in the childhood. With the help of this haptic technology, they are treated. This is coming up as a big way. Right? This is the importance of haptic communication. This is so, so important actually. So, now coming to the last part of haptic communication here I want to discuss. Cultures and haptic communication. If you know, if you have observed, you know, Japanese, uh, they have a culture of staying away, you know, from strangers. They do not shake hand, if you know. They bow their head, you know. So, Japanese as a culture, they are they, culturally they are the most opposed to touch of a stranger. Of course, not of, of the loved ones. So, for loved ones, this theory is same. Across the cultures, across the countries, every country, you know, a mother would like to hold her ch child close to her. Irrespective, we are in Middle East, we are in North America, South America, North Asia, East Asia, wherever. Every part of the world, you know, for personal relationship, for a, for a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, mom, children, father, children, you know, so this, uh, this is entirely the same story. But when coming to meeting a stranger, then this becomes more evident that how haptic communication is affecting in total. So, Japanese as a culture, they do not like to stand uh, close and touch the stranger while communicating. They maintain a good long distance, I mean little good distance and they do not greet by touching even to a stranger. They just bow their head. So, then, uh, then, then uh, neither shake hand, they no, uh, neither um, kiss each other or they just bow, you know, when greeting the other person. Uh, men and women cannot touch in certain Muslim countries in public. 
that is also haptic communication that is one culture which is uh, you know which doesn't uh, encourage uh, men and women coming together touching each other this is also culture in india you just think just observe what kind of culture we do we have so at home we know in most of the families so within india there are so many cultures so that's the beauty of our country we have diversity in culture in different culture you go to south you go to north india you go to east or west everywhere you know parental teach uh, kids touch is is adorable teachers touch to students you no know, patting tapping you know on the back is is also adorable so there's no difference it either the pers- you know it is a muslim uh, uh, zone or hindu zone or sikh zone or whichever so irrespective in india there is a culture of touch we we sh- we, we do namaste do for greeting uh, to a stranger but uh, many people in in tier 1 to uh, cities are shaking hands like i do shake hand and i do do namaste as well right so in india most of the parts of the country we do not have any problem coming staying close we generally maintain less distance when it comes to space management and touching than the most of the advanced and modern countries so space and touch is not so much matter of concern or or uh, uh, you know taken care as a very social etiquette in india most of the people will stand very close by they will come close unexpectedly unwarranted even for times and uh, they uh, they touch even very easily you know on the road a stranger may touch uh, if you ask uh, you know about uh, such some address that elderly person may touch to an unknown person yes it happens in india so but in most of the other cultures as you know even an elderly person may not touch a stranger but in india you may see a few examples so when they do touch so culture does affect the haptic communication so friends what about the culture at work this was a culture in general the social society so even even office is part of the society is also the part of the you know country so at work places uh, it is generally suggested to maintain a reasonable distance and not to ch- touch especially the opposite gender right but still uh, we see if there is a difference of age between the boss and the subordinate the touch is taken as a, a, is just uh, you know as a commendable somebody is commending as touch is taken in a good stride it is not taken in a bad stride and of course the other gender can make can sense what kind of touch it was okay but at workplace even in india uh, generally people do not touch it is recommended not to touch especially the people of opposite gender uh, it's better to shake hand with the formal uh, no during a formal introduction or a stranger even for that matter or to in you know corporate guest uh, for that matter but uh we should avoiding touch at the workplace uh that was not the purpose purpose was to understand the importance of touch haptic in communication i hope you were able to uh correlate because this is happening in day to day life we are on daily basis actually practicing haptic communication without knowing that this is haptic communication you may not have heard this word for the you know before maybe you are hearing this word for the first time but i'm sure you know that the importance of touch is there in especially in personal relationship so friends with this i would like to wind up now and hope you could you enjoyed this session of haptic communication thank you very much for being with me thank you